Carl. First of all, you know how much work there is in this? Give me that. Let me take it to the garbage. <laughs> sure. Let me show you where this goes. No, no, no. Right in the garbage. No right there. That's where it goes. It belongs with all the trash. 30, that place plane's going to be 90 out? You're going to have a, a show plane. I don't care. This, I ain't going to do this over again. <laughs> when you put this on to the fuselage for the, the final fit. I got to stand this. So, Block sand, try to get a, yeah. a sixteenth of that out anyway. I, I I can get easy a thirty second off of this. I didn't say a thirty second, I said a sixteenth. Well, a thirty second. Lot of wood. Thirty second on each side. Okay. I can get a thirty second on each side because yeah. it overlaps the I fuse. hope you don't have pilots made out of at a yeah, silly putty or something. It overlaps the fuse yeah. about that much. So it's easy a thirty second on okay. each side. That would that would be you a know? step in the right so direction. It'll probably weigh about thirty five grams. I would think 35, maybe 38 grams. Okay, the best one, the Testarossa, is 20. But you don't have Shoot. this. I got more stuff on a Testarossa than you got. What are you talking about? Well, I'll allow two grams for that. <laughs> now, the other thing is, because you're going to glass the nose of the plane, you could really make the front thin. Well, you I could really could, go I could wild. I could take some more stuff off. Yes. I could take more stuff. Yes. Off okay. Here. Okay. I didn't want to do this now because, you know, when you handle it. I know, I know, I know. Especially. Okay, we did a final little touch up sanding on this. And we're ready to tissue it. Just get, that's the M600, get it cleaned up. Even though you're going to cover it with tissue, you don't want to embed in a fingerprint or a, you know, some grease or something. I mean, not after all the work you got on this. I'll tell you who liked it, Jose. Jose when he was over here, yeah, he was looking at it, and Lampione was, was oh, he was beside himself. He was having fun. They, were, they got so mad they were making nasty comments about poor Matt Newman. <laughs> Not that we would ever make nasty no, comments. No, nah, it's out of the question. Yeah, leave, leave Matt alone. Poor Matt. He but flies. he's going to be your best friend at the Nats. He flies. He flies I hope he learns how to fly, fly backwards so he can fly this thing, too. <laughs> he flew to Tiger Cat. I want it the, an eighth of an inch. Yeah, that's because you don't, but this is on an outer joint, we'll overlap it. On an inner joint, this is going to shrink and pull up. Pull so we, okay. we want it. Leave a good eighth of an inch. Yeah, that's what I got. Okay, we can leave the sheet big. Now, I'm going to hit it with Windex. Where's right. your brush? Get your brush and your dope and everything. I got the dope. Start in the middle and work your way out. Try to get as many of the wrinkles out. And then at the end, we'll trim whatever overage you have there. See, if you try to line that up and, and do it perfect, it's not going to happen because it's not a straight line. When you do a curve like that, it's a curve line. Put plenty on there. Plenty on. You don't want to be pulling up tape and have this come up. And look, when you're done. So you get it good and wet like this, this is what I do. Just rub it down with your bare hand. Don't be fooling around. Your hand won't cheat you. You can pull it and just tear it if you want. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. When you're done sanding, that joint's not going to show at all. That joint disappears well, in the it's finish. If you, if you just tear yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, it, it's going to disappear in the finish, believe me. Over here, though, you have to cut it. <laughs> 